Once you have captured Heatran and beaten the post game and beaten the first set of Pokemon League rematches, you will have access to a second set of rematches against the Elite Four and Champion, with levels varying between the late 70s and the late 80s. This second rematch against Cynthia features Pokemon level 88, making Cynthia in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl the strongest boss battle in the history of Pokemon. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can beat Cynthia and this supposed strongest boss battle in the history of Pokemon with a party of level 1 Pokemon. How are we going to get to Cynthia without having our level 1 Pokemon gain experience? We're going to have all of our level 1 Pokemon faint against the first Pokemon of the first member of the Elite Four and only revive them in time for the battle against Cynthia, meaning they will all be level 1 with zero experience and zero affection. To get to Cynthia, we will have one level 100 Pokemon in our party, but we won't be using it at all in the Cynthia battle not even to heal our level ones or anything like that. So here we are, we've successfully defeated the four members of the Elite Four. All that's left now is the champion Cynthia. Our plan worked perfectly. We had our five level one Pokemon faint in the first battle and they didn't receive any experience from there onwards. Fantastic. We've revived and full restored all of them and we need to give a couple of them a couple of items. We're going to give both Ghastly and Smeagol Focus Sashes. Now, Focus Sash is an item that allows you to survive an attack that would normally one-hit KO you if you are at full health with one HP, which obviously, being level one, we're going to be outsped, and any attack that hits us is basically a guaranteed one-hit KO. So this is incredibly, incredibly important. I would sit here and explain my Pokemon's moveset and what I did while I was breeding them and stuff like that but I think it's going to be a lot easier if I explain that to you move by move turn by turn Pokemon by Pokemon I think it'll be a lot easier for you for you guys to digest that I guess so with all that being said we're going to do Cynthia the honor the privilege of battling her she's spoken all about dignity and poise but I think she's going to lose all of it in this battle I don't know what she's expecting she's going to lead with Spiritomb level 84 with the move Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, Will-O-Wisp and Sucker Punch holding a Citrus Berry which is really important as I was brainstorming this video I was thinking how can I do this right and the very first strategy I came up with was the idea of utilizing the fear strategy, a very well-known popular strategy, especially if you've been in the Pokemon community for a long while. It was a strategy popularized in 2007 with the original release of Diamond and Pearl and basically featured a level one Pokemon holding a focus sash with Endeavor and Quick Attack. Now with both of those being normal type attacks, obviously that's not going to hit Spiritomb being a ghost type. And even if we had Reckless, the ability that allows normal type attacks to hit ghost type pokemon unfortunately it has a citrus berry so once its health goes below 50 percent unfortunately it's going to recover 25 percent of its health and a level one is not going to be able to take out a level 84 pokemon with 25 percent of its health left with quick attack so instead of utilizing that strategy i've come up with something a little bit different. We've got this Ghastly, level one, with a Focus Sash, with Trick Room, an attack it's able to learn via TM. It basically alters the dimensions of the room, for lack of a better word, and allows the slowest Pokemon to move first for five turns. We have also taught it Destiny Bond, an attack that it's not normally supposed to be able to learn until level 47, but due to the breeding mechanics introduced in recent Pokemon games, we are able to breed two Pokemon, two Ghastly, both level 47 with Destiny Bond in their moveset and the offspring will receive it. So that's how you get a level one Ghastly with Destiny Bond. If you use Destiny Bond on the same turn that your Pokemon is KO'd, it will also take out the Pokemon that KO'd you, which obviously for this strategy is fantastic. We are going to use Trick Room. Only one thing can go wrong on this turn and that's if Cynthia decides to use Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse has a percent chance of flinching us. Thankfully, we don't get flinched. She uses Shadow Ball here. And we are able to KO her on the next turn with Destiny Bond. That's one Pokemon of ours that's fainted and one Pokemon of hers that's fainted. That's a level one Ghastly that has just fainted 
a level 84 Spiritu. Now, of course, as you're seeing on screen right now, our rest of the party has gained a ton of levels here, a ton of experience due to the mandatory experience share. Now, if I could have disabled it for this run, I would have. I really hate this mechanic. I wish they at least made it a choice. I wish Game Freak Ilka and the Pokemon Company would listen to that. There are mods that allow you to disable the experience share and the affection features and stuff like that that however I don't feel comfortable using them for this video as I want this video to be something that you guys if you are crazy enough could imitate yourself right so no mods nothing like that I hope it doesn't come across as clickbait that my Pokemon have leveled up here I don't know of course we have also tried to learn a ton of moves there we're not going to learn any of them all of our pokemon's move sets are pretty optimal as they are i made sure to do that off screen in preparation for this video this porygon z is probably the only easy pokemon out of cynthia's entire team uh it just attacks us we've destiny bonded of course we're faster than it due to the trick room and porygon z goes down really easy it's the only non-rng <laughs> like Pokemon that Cynthia has thankfully so of course we get a few more levels a few more attacks that our Pokemon want to learn the next Pokemon that Cynthia is going to send out is going to be Togekiss and this is another one of them RNG focused Pokemon Togekiss is level 86 with the moves Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, Aura Sphere and Thunder Wave holding leftovers so if you want to try to I don't know. Try the fear strat on this Togekiss. Unfortunately, you can't. You have to be very wary of Thunder Wave. If Togekiss uses Thunder Wave here, unfortunately, it's going to waste turns of your Trick Room and you're not going to be able to take out her other Pokemon with Destiny Bond or whatever. So Togekiss goes down there. Thankfully, she used either Air Slash or Dazzling Gleam. A couple of our Pokemon level up. We are now going to send out what is essentially our ace of the team. You might notice we only have five level one Pokemon or Pokemon that started at level one, whereas Cynthia has six Pokemon. We need one of our Pokemon to take out two of her team. Smeargle is going to be that Pokemon due to its absolutely incredible moveset. Now Lucario is level 86 with the moves Close Combat, Meteor Mash, Earthquake and Extreme Speed. And this Lucario is very, very trigger happy when it comes to Extreme Speed. You'll notice they used extreme speed to lower our health to 1 HP. The focus sash saved us. We have sent it to sleep. And now Cynthia is going to use two of her three full restores. We're going to be in a little bit of a cycle. We're going to be sending it to sleep when she uses the full restore. Endeavoring on the next turn. Hoping Lucario doesn't wake up. Then sending it back to sleep right as she full restores it's basically a game of prediction cynthia uses two full restores before she sends out her fifth pokemon and then her fifth or sixth pokemon she will use a full restore so if you're attempting to do a run like this please be careful of that we also need to set up trick room we need the five turns of trick room to be able to take out her next pokemon then we need to set up trick room again to take out her ace so nightshade finishes off lucario we get lucky that is a little bit rng based we we were at risk of lucario waking up on the second or third turn but thankfully it didn't two more pokemon remain and we've got two Pokemon ourselves. We are able to outspeed this Milotic due to our Trick Room. Milotic is level 84 with the moves Recover, Mirror Coat, Ice Beam and Scold. Now, it has a Flame Orb and it is incredibly important that we do not let it activate its Flame Orb. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to send it to sleep. And if we can't send it to sleep, there is going to be a turn where Milotic is able to attack us and thus KO us as we're only at eight, at 8 health so that would be atrocious what we need to do is utilize the exact same strategy we did against Lucario except we only have to do it once because she only has three full restores we send it to sleep we endeavor then we have to set up trick room so we're able to take out Cynthia's final Pokemon Garchomp with our level 1 Dust Skull that has Destiny Bond we're able to KO the Milotic thankfully it doesn't wake up after two or three turns and i'll take you guys over to live pd winnell's reaction reacting to this 
Right, we've explained the strategy perfectly. We are on the last Pokemon. I did not expect to get this far. Oh, I... Lord, I... 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 I hope I don't screw up. I, I hope I don't mess up right now. Right, final Pokemon, Garchomp. We have specifically saved Dust Skull for this. And we have even got Trick Room up now. So all we need to do is make sure we click the right button and actually, actually get our Destiny Bond off. Oh, I have spent about four hours trying to get this run perfect, optimize it perfectly. Okay, right button, Destiny Bond. I didn't press Leo by accident, that's good. And with that, we take out <laughs> a level 88 Garchomp with a Pokemon that started this battle at level one. It's done. Oh my life. Done. <laughs> That's maybe the hardest thing I've ever done in a Pokemon game. That went above and beyond my expectations. What a marvel! I wouldn't be so happy if I were you, Cynthia. This is this is going online to several thousand people. I would be a little bit ashamed. <sighs> well, that's it. That's how you do it. I um I really hope you've enjoyed this video. A like would be amazing if you did. Uh, if you didn't, feel free to dislike and leave a comment telling me what I could have done to improve. I hope the edits have been good, all that kind of stuff. See you guys in the next video. Um, yeah, subscribe so you don't miss out.